for the holidays. You know it's my first Christmas with Roy. Yeah, so bring him here. Look, Vienna is beautiful and romantic during Christmas time. Besides, everybody's getting all set up for the holiday ball season. Yeah, maybe you guys could go to one. You should go to one. You're always the better dancer. Yeah, it's only because you stopped practicing ballet in high school. No, I still go to cardio bar classes. <laughs> that is not the same thing. How's the search for your dad's family coming? I have no family yet. I still can't believe my big brother's gonna be alone on Christmas. Don't worry about me. Look, I just want to make sure that you and Roy have a romantic first Christmas. Ooh, I gotta go. He's taking me to this really fancy restaurant, and he says he wants to talk about our future. Something important. Ooh, like a proposal? I don't know. I hope. You'll be the first one I call. So sorry I'm late. Thank you. I got caught up talking to Daniel. Brought you some homemade Christmas cookies. Thanks. Hey, you look gorgeous, by the way. Thanks. So, I'm really excited to know what you wanted to talk about. Remember when you said you wanted to give me the best gift you could? Yeah. Nothing, really nothing would make me happier for you to make my Christmas fantasy come true. <sighs> Yeah. So, I want you to meet someone special. Am I finally going to meet your mom? No, not really. Hey. Hey. Hi, you must be Amy. So nice to meet you. Who, who is that? Who, uh, who is she? This is Elaine. Elaine? Amy? Have a seat. Come. Who, who is that? Who is she? I'm his girlfriend. Yes. I'm his girlfriend. Yes. You said she was okay with this. She is okay with this, right? Okay, but what am I okay? <gasps> Why would I be okay with this? What are you doing? Wait, hold on for a second. Amy? I thought I was gonna marry him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ames. I know how much you liked him. I see you got my Christmas present. Oh, yeah. Thanks, it's, it's, it's pretty. And handmade. Tell me more about Vienna, I need a distraction. Um, okay, uh, it's magical. There's Christmas lights on all the shop, everything smells like gingerbread, and everybody is getting extra hyped for all the extravagant balls happening. Oh, yeah, with the, with the big gowns and the dancing. I can't believe that they still do those. And everyone is extra hyped right now because the biggest ball of the season, the Christmas ball, is like, it's like right around the corner. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Hey, you should come to Vienna. Oh, no, I... I can't. I... Why, why not? Look, we're family. We shouldn't both be alone on Christmas. I, I can't. That's it's crazy. I. Okay, look. Let's make a deal. Come out to Vienna and stay with me through Christmas. You know, try some new food. See some new sights. Maybe even go to a ball. I think getting outside of your comfort zone is exactly what you need right now. I don't know. Vienna is. It's so full of all this magical old world charm. That sounds nice. Plus, it's five thousand miles from Roy. Yeah. Yeah, you're, as in you're coming. Because I'm not taking nine for an answer. I'm coming to Vienna. You're coming to Vienna? I'm coming to Vienna. Wow, I did not think that was going to work. I'm coming to Vienna. I'm going to come see you. Hey, and who knows? You might even meet a prince and get married. That's not funny. Nice to see you, too. Sorry, didn't get any sleep on the plane. 
Oh. How's it all going, by the way? Uh, it's good. It's taken me forever to track down my dad's family, but I think I found my uncle. Daniel, that's great. Yeah. yeah, I'm just... I'm hoping he can tell me a little bit more about my biological father. He just died when I was so young. I want to try and get a better sense of where I come from. You, know? you will. I know it. And when you do, maybe Mom, Dad, and I will finally know why you're so weird. Hmm. And then you'll also maybe know why I don't invite you to the palace when I discover I'm royalty. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> Let's go drop the bags and go see the town. Sound of Vienna concert, Johann Strauss Welcome to Vienna's best cafe. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've got to take this. It could be about my uncle. Okay. Hello, this is Daniel. May I be of some assistance? Um, you know, we'll just have a couple of large cappuccinos. Two café mélange, right away. Uh, oh, so that was my researcher. Ames, I'm a nephew. I've got an uncle. <laughs> uh, he's... Here, his name is Marcus. They could call me at any time. Oh my god. Did I go meet him? I... You sure? Hey, the coffee was amazing, but you know I don't eat anything with eggs. So much for trying new things. I am working my way up to that. Mm, sure. Hey, who's that? Think they're hosting a ball? Probably. Um, oh, sorry. Hello. Uh, okay, sure. R right now? I'll, I'll see you soon. Great. Um, that was my research. My uncle Marcus, he wants to meet me. Right now? Yeah. That's incredible. I'm sorry. I can't sightsee with you today. Are you going to be okay on your own? Uh, sh sure. Yeah, I've been here about a day. I'm practically an expert now. Okay. Um, you know, go check out the Danube Tower. It's great. It's beautiful. The view is incredible, especially this time of year. Okay. Right. Okay, you're not going to regret it. Okay. Thank you. I love you. Love you. All right. That's good. Okay. Der Lydia. So können wir das auf gar keinen Fall hinbekommen. Mensch, jetzt reg dich nicht so auf. Hey, Lydia, wir haben nur noch drei Tage bis zur Competition. Philipp ist der viel bessere Tänzer und auch der bessere Liebhaber. Was soll denn das? Was? Das kannst du jetzt nicht machen, Mensch. Wie ich das machen kann. Oh. I'm afraid you screwed that one up, Lucas. Tommy, I'll take the class by myself. All to alone. And I think you can clap with one and two, right? You know this is for the midnight competition, and I'm afraid there's no sense in continuing this class without a partner. How am I gonna find a dancing partner at such a notice? You have this little playbook. Find someone. My apologies. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna ask one of these gentlemen over here if you don't mind. Hi. Uh, hopefully you can understand me. I was just curious if you guys are practicing for a ball and if there are any tickets left. I keep hearing amazing things about it and I'd really like to go to one. You can't understand anything I'm saying. Uh, no, yes, I can. Um, we are practicing for the ball. The Christmas Eve ball. Uh, that's the fancy one that sells out tickets a year and a half in advance? Yeah, actually it's more like two years in advance, but yes, that one. Oh. Uh, can you help me get tickets? No, not directly, but I do have a proposition for you. 
I, I don't know what you've heard about American girls. Do you have any ballroom dance experience? No. Uh, I mean, I did ballet in high school. We almost went to nationals junior year. I'm, I'm Lucas Hofbauer. <sighs> Amy. Amy. Listen, I know this is... It's gonna sound completely strange, but I'm looking for a dancing partner. And I must attend this class to qualify for the competition of the midnight show for the Christmas Eve ball. It showcases the best dancers in Vienna. Uh -huh. And you want me? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, but once you commit, that's it. I mean, you would have to be my dance partner and commit your time and energy to waltz. If we get through the competition, we'll be able to attend the Christmas Eve ball. And if you take this class, I'll be your personal tour guide in Vienna to whatever you want to see for the rest of this beautiful holiday season. Oh, uh, well, I did promise myself I would try new things and I do really want to see the ball. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> I'll be your dance partner. All right, <laughs> wunderbar. Yeah, well, wunderbar. <laughs> Willkommen zu Christmas in Vienna. Everybody, we have a new dancer with us today. Please welcome. What was your name? Uh, uh, Amy. <coughs> Amy Michaels. Hi. Hi. Uh, th this was kind of a, a spontaneous decision. I uh, flew in from Chicago after catching my boyfriend with another woman. <laughs> but, but, but I'm moving on and, and I'm trying new things, so I think it's working because I, two days ago, I really didn't expect to be dancing ballroom in Vienna, right? <laughs> so, say la vie. That's, that's French, not German, but um, yeah, I, I ramble. I'm nervous, so. Okay, everyone, come on, get up. Break is over. Two bodies. One mind, four, four feet. feet. They don't mess around, do they? Well, they take the walls very seriously here. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm in over my head. Like, you should find somebody who actually knows what they're doing. No, 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 a deal is a deal. You can do this. Okay. Guys, um, always maintain contact. Oh. What? Remember, the judges, they will be looking for the perfect form. We try this with music. Start with a basic right turn just to get a little bit warmer, okay? On my count. Fünf, sechs, sieben, go. Und eins, und zwei, und drei. Ow. Oh, I'm so sorry. Fine. Everyone back to one. Once again, and little Chicago, please take your heart to the left. Good. Shoulders down and elbows up. And now keep your posture. Yeah, posture was never really my forte as a ballerina. Fünf, sechs, sieben, go. Eins, zwei, drei, zwei, zwei, drei, drei, zwei, drei, vier. Don't look at me. I wasn't. God, get over yourself. No, it's just if you look at me, you'll get dizzy. Ow! Ah! I am but, so sorry. You really gotta watch your feet a little bit more. I mean, take this seriously, okay? It's not that hard. One, two, three, two, two. Oh, oh okay, I wanted to try new things, but I didn't come to Vienna to be... Ordered around, okay. I'm gonna find my own way into the ball. Good luck on your competition. Well, nice meeting you. And thanks for confirming everything I already knew about stubborn Americans. Well, thank you for confirming everything I already knew about snotty Europeans. What? Wait, the Lucas Hoffbauer? So you've been here less than 24 hours, you already had but the Prince Harry of Vienna. Hmm. You gonna see him again? Maybe he's kind of a jerk. Uh. I'm so done with jerks. Right. That's fair. 
But, counter argument, uh, I hear he's a heck of a dancer, and he might be your best way of getting into the Christmas ball. <laughs> Come on, you said that you'd get outside your comfort zone. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try to find him and apologize. Oh, wow, that's gonna be painful. Get outside my comfort zone. Hey, that's the spirit. <laughs> Lucas Hofbauer? Uh, I, I took a dance class with him today. Um, I, I, I wasn't very good. Sorry. I uh, bought him a gluten hops to apologize. Who is it? Irgendeine verrückte Amerikanerin. Lucas, it's Amy. I brought you a bun cake. Dominic, I got it from you. Thank you. Warum um, besser security? Amy. <laughs> um, how did you even find me? Have you ever Googled Lucas Hofbauer's address? No. Good. Don't. <laughs> well, I guess you know who I am now. Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, I actually just came to apologize. Dancing seems really important to you, and I. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. Like, I need to apologize to you as well. I mean, thanks for the cake. That's very kind. Why, why don't you come inside? It's freezing out here. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I also tried to find you some Edelweiss. I know how you Austrians love it. You have a whole song about it. Unfortunately, it was out of season. It's also written by Americans, I think. Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> speaking of, where's the rest of the Von Trapp family and the, uh, the Christmas decorations? Yeah, well, I haven't been able to bring myself to decorate in the last couple of years. Really? It's the best part. Oh. Well, I'm not, I mean, your place is so beautiful. It makes up for it. I mean, looks like it has so much history. This, this chandelier is beautiful. My great-great-grandfather actually made that one. He, he made that? Oh. oh! I'm so sorry. I'm such a clot, sorry. It's okay. I get you a gift and I ruin it. You know, I just realized I haven't lived up to my end of the bargain. I would love to take you to town. If that's okay with you. Okay. Wow, UV and these really do take Christmas seriously. Mm. It's my kind of town. Mm. For me, Vienna is the most beautiful city in the world, and this is when it comes alive. You know, everybody's preparing for the holiday ball season. It's like a Viennese requirement. <laughs> you really do love it here, don't you? Yeah, I've traveled the world, but. For some reason, I always come back home. 35 years ago, my parents won the midnight show and were crowned king and queen at the Christmas Eve ball. Shortly after, they got married and had me. So dancing really is in your blood. Yeah. Of course, they always wanted to see me win as well. But they're gone now. Oh, Lucas, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's been a few years, but now I feel like I have to win it for them. Listen, I just want you to know I was gonna compete with my ex. We were pretty much gonna win this thing till she decided to find a new partner. That's why you need me. Exactly. She said she didn't think that she could win with me as a partner, so she found a new one in and out of the ballroom. Some French guy, Philippe. That's awful. I can relate. My ex cheated on me, too. 
You know what they say. Misery loves company. I've had worse company. <laughs> <laughs> It's beautiful, huh? that in so many years. <laughs> that's because Vienna suits you, that's why. You think? You know now, all we need to do is get you to waltz the way you ballet. Yeah, I see it's a little bit different though, because when I was a ballerina, I was actually more of a soloist, so all I had to really do was trust myself and my body, but with the waltz, I gotta trust you. Oh, no. See? You can trust me. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I know a really great place around here. You do? Yeah, I do. You do? Okay. Well, then, <laughs> let's try I to think... find it. Yeah, it's, um... <clears throat> I think it's... Uh, this way. It's awful people can't just leave you alone. Hmm, that's a little odd. When all of Austria cares about who you're dating, yeah? Well, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't know who you were until 12 hours ago. Don't feel bad. If it makes you feel any better, I didn't know who you were 12 hours ago either. Two cups of the best high social privati. Oh. Action. Other Amy's may argue, but personally, I think there is nothing better during the holidays than a hot chocolate. The secrets, the egg yolk. That's what gives the rich texture. We don't usually do eggs. Mm. But here's to trying new things. All right. Two new things. Mm. Mm. I think I'm okay with eggs now. This might be the best thing I've ever tasted. Thank you. <laughs> I'll leave you to enjoy. I need to thank you for tonight. I nobody's really ever done anything that nice for me before. Sweet, I I do enjoy making you smile, baby. You do? Very much so. Mm. Sorry to interrupt, but that young lady wanted me to hand you this. I really, I, I can't get strung along again. I, I don't know, it seems like you have a lot of girls around and this hangout or whatever it is, is over, okay? Hey, hey, please, just. And I can pay my own bill, okay? Just wait, please. I gotta go. Hey, Amy. Finished, sir. Thank you, Dominic. You got in late last night? Yes, Amy and I went to Cafe Sluka after we went to the Christmas market. You really seem to like her. Yes, I do. But I think I mucked that up. Does she have any potential as a dance partner? <sighs> she does have talent. And that American stubborn determination. Americans can be quite annoying. But it's very determined too. Maybe that's what you need. You may not win this year, but the connection you two share could help you win for years. You need to tell her that. Mm, and here I was thinking you didn't even like her. It's nice to see you smiling again. With Lydia, you just uh, would go from talking about the mansion to dancing to talking again. I don't want that old Lucas back, do you? She did leave her wallet last night, so... I will have to see her eventually. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe that was on purpose so she could see you again. Maybe we should try to find her. Hey, I think we should go to the Christmas market, get some glue vine. It's glue wine. Glue vine. It's hot spiced wine. Yes. That's what I want. Ah, so you're thinking about Lucas, aren't you? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, I thought you said that you walked out on him. Well, I did. I don't know what I'm doing. The whole thing was a bad idea. A bad idea? Well, I mean, aren't you ever going to see him again? I really want to see him again. But he deserves to have a partner with some modicum of Walt's ability. Oh, sick. Will you stop selling yourself so short? Jeez. Look, the deal we made when you came here is that you're going to have some fun and try some new things. And not try and win in every new thing that you do try. I mean, think of everything that you've done since you got here. You learned to waltz. You had but a rich guy. And you tried stuff with eggs in it. That's huge. Okay, yeah. I know. Should we get some glue vine and liquid courage? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Oh. Ah! Yeah, good morning. Uncle Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. All right, bye. Uh, that was Uncle Marcus. He's in town. He wants to see if we want to grab some lunch. Hey, you go see him and have some fun time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go explore. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm such a klutz. Whoa. Are you American? Yeah. Where are you from? Chicago. Really? Me too. Hal Stinson. Amy Michaels. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What brings you here? Oh, well, vacation. Getting away from... I am spending Christmas with my brother. Cool. You don't happen to know about these places that have, um, glue or glow wine? Glue wine. Yeah. Yeah. I can't find my wallet. Oh. I must have lost it. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I promise I'll, I'll come back and, and I'll pay you. I promise. Okay. I found it. <laughs> Hey, 
focus. Hey, Amy, you uh, left your wallet yesterday. You weren't trying to twerk your way into seeing me again, were you? No. But I do want to apologize for how I behaved. Answer. I really want you to be able to win this. I feel like I need to apologize because it was a misunderstanding. I want you to be my partner. I just feel like winning will come in time. Okay. Have you been waiting long? Amy, Lucas is on his fourth hot chocolate waiting for you. <laughs> Can I get you one as well? <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> so, what do we have to do to get up to speed with the competition in two days? Practice, practice, practice. The walls are simple. All you have to do is keep your center steady. Don't forget to take big, sweeping steps. Your <laughs> turn. Okay. <laughs> Is everything okay? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right there. <sighs> I gotta go. Okay. What? Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's nothing serious. I just I have to go now. Um. So I'll see you tomorrow. He's fine, uh, except I invited him over for dinner. You said this was an emergency. Yeah, it is. Look, I have no idea how to cook a traditional Austrian feast. All right, he's from one of the oldest families in Vienna. He's gonna disown me. <laughs> Daniel, you're being silly. Am I? Am I? I think I should go back to Chicago, like now. Okay, yeah. Uncle Marcus is the reason that you're here. Right. He doesn't care about what you cook for him. He just wants to spend time with you. Yeah. I got Mom's Christmas ham recipe. We'll make that. Be nice to make it for somebody who actually appreciates it. Mm. Ham. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Gonna be great. Okay. Can you handle buying me a ham? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that totally? Can you handle that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. It's the one with feathers, right? Go. Oh. This looks delicious. Who knew Amy could cook? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. It's a good thing I have my brother's support at all times. <laughs> Speaking of brothers, I want to show you something, Daniel. Daniel? Amy? Meet your family. Family settled in Vienna in the early 1800s. This is your cousin Uli <laughs> and your great aunt, Aunt Mavis, on the family farm. Oh, cousin and an aunt. <laughs> <laughs> they took such great pride in it. It was favorite place to visit growing up. It's why I moved there after I retired from city life. It's beautiful. <laughs> Who's that? That's me and my wife Greta. This was taken at the Christmas Eve ball years ago at the Cuisinot. 
where we all danced the famous Josip Susniara. <laughs> it's such fun. One of my fondest memories. <laughs> that dress, that gown is amazing. They don't make them like that anymore. She wears it well. She's beautiful. Yes. Yes, she was. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. We had a very happy life together. And Wolf, what a dancer. You know, Amy's actually taken up ballroom. Well, I'm trying mm. to get into the midnight show so that I can go to the Christmas Eve ball. The Christmas Eve ball? That's the biggest ball in town. Right, guys, you know, I don't expect anything less than perfection from you tomorrow at the competition. No pain, no gain. Let's get to work. And always think, while you're dancing of this beautiful room, you have to feel it, okay? From the beginning, starting position, please. Excuse me? Mm, that's why he's the master. Like he said, try to feel the room. I will. Good. Good. Nice. I'm glad to see that you're more in your steps today. Go. Good job. Good job. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Remember, the ones who place in the top four get to dance at the Midnight Show for a chance to get crowned king and queen of this year's Christmas Eve ball. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. This could just be our year, Vicky. Yeah, especially if Lucas is dancing with her. Don't listen to them. Your dancing has gotten much better. Yeah? Better enough to get into the ball? Well, your movements and technique are there, but they're a little sloppy. Sloppy? That's blunt? Blunt is the Austrian in me. Hey, I apologize for saying it, but it's true. Hey, I mean it in a funny way. Ha ha. Funny. Well, you know what they say about Austrian humor. No, what? It's no laughing matter. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? I want my waltzing to get better, and I want to do this right. Okay, listen. The waltz is about emotion and precision coming together, and about practice, practice, practice. Lucas, are we going? Hey, Tommy. Sorry, is there any way we can stay a little longer today? Sure. I'll give you the keys, but keep it between us and lock up after. Thanks. Remember, you break it, you buy it. <laughs> but that's no problem, right? And Amy, this was much better today. Good job. See you tomorrow, guys. Coming from the mean guy? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Stretch out a little bit. And then we'll do it without shoot this time, okay? Okay. Okay, so the Viennese Waltz is one of the oldest forms of ballroom dancing in the world. Steps are pretty easy, but the details are complicated. I lead, when I go forward, you go back, when I go right, you go left. But we're gonna spend a little more time on posture and feeling it. So here we go. Elbows up. Shoulders down. Beautiful. I'm gonna count. Three, two, one, go. That's nice. It's okay. No worries. Just take it again. Everything. Perfect. Feel the music. Here we go. One, two, 
<laughs> okay. We did enough for today. It was amazing. You think we got a chance of winning or, you know, at least getting fourth and getting into the midnight show? We'll just keep practicing. Okay. I also would like to ask you to dinner tonight as a thank you. I just need to make one quick call. What does the great Lucas Hofbauer have planned now? Surprise? every day well let me show you my favorite view and it's not from the Danube Tower these are amazing not as amazing as you are That was a little corny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm a corny kind of guy. What can I say? <laughs> I'm sure you've been on one of those, right? Of course. Yeah, I try to get on the one in Chicago at least once every summer. But not during Christmas. No. See, I think we should change that. All right. All right. Let me show you. It's beautiful, thank you, but it's too much. No, it isn't. Not for you. Come on, we worked so hard all day. Let's just enjoy the night and enjoy the view. Let me get you out of your jacket. Except for Christmas. Without you, they can have all the cookies, can keep the mistletoe. They can take every last penny to pay the debts that I owe. Still, there's nothing in this world <laughs> that will make me feel blue. Except you gotta try this. You gotta try this. I'm gonna get it back from here. It's even more beautiful in the summer. Oh, it sure is. You know, they had the kids out there picnicking on the shore, boats in the water. It's great. You should really see it. I'm only here for another week. My real life is in Chicago. So, this is in real life now. I have had the best time with you, Lucas. And this has been, I mean, this is incredible, but I can't pretend that this is what my life's gonna be from now on. Okay. Well, then let's just enjoy your time here in Vienna. You know what? Here, let's drink to that. Christmas in Vienna. Christmas in Vienna. Mm. 
All right, sorry, I have to do that, but I need one last dance. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were done practicing. Well, if we can dance in a swinging Ferris wheel cart, we'll be so much better tomorrow in Solid Ground. All right. Thank you so much for tonight, for the dinner and the dancing. I'm never, ever going to forget it. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I'm bummed. I'm, I'm not going to be able to decorate for Christmas this year, you know? <laughs> okay. You know what? You've brought so much Christmas spirit into my life. Why don't we just decorate my house? No Christmas without you. It's gonna be fun. Let me get your jacket. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Hello, sir. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you had company. Oh, uh, no. hey, Dominic. We need your help. Get all the Christmas decoration out of the cellar, please. Christmas decoration? Yes, we're gonna decorate. Let's do this. <laughs> it's a go! He's so excited. Yeah. Super happy. I'm glad you brought some holiday spirit back into this lonely house. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> You're forgetting one important thing, though. What? Christmas tree. had your dance last year. They did. The day got away from us. Do you know how to get to the woods outside of Vienna? Uh, I don't, but I could ask Uncle Marcus why. Lucas doesn't have a Christmas tree. I thought I'd surprise him with a real one. What? You really like him. <laughs> yeah, you do. Stop. You like him. Nothing is going on. Okay, stop. <laughs> I leave for Chicago in a few days. Mm -hmm. I just want to do something nice for the guy. Sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and iron the only formal dress that I brought so that I can go to the competition tomorrow. Hmm. Mind your own business. Good night. Good night. Wow, they all look so professional. Don't worry about them. You see the lady in the middle? The other two are sticklers for precision, but she, she judges on chemistry, emotion, and overall performance. So you're saying we actually do have a shot at the midnight show on the Christmas Eve ball? Sure hope so. Oh, well, my parents will come back from their grave to haunt me. <laughs> well, it looks like you're about to be haunted by a ghost of Christmas past right now. Good luck. You will need it. Nice dress. Excuse me. Uh, why don't you just go and sign us in? I'll be with you in a second, okay? Okay. Chicago, I hardly recognized you. You've certainly come a long way, and I wanted to wish you good luck. Oh, thank you, but you can't wish me good luck. Why not? Uh, because in America, when there's a performance, it's bad luck to wish good luck. And what do you say instead? 
break a leg. Right. <laughs> that makes sense. Welcome our next couple, Lydia and Philip. Thank you, Philippe. Thank you, Lydia. And now, please welcome our next couple, Lucas and Amy. No, no, no. I'm too, I'm too nervous. You, you go ahead. I'll be right behind you. Okay. I just, I slipped on 
this water and I think I sprained my ankle. Oh, no. I'm gonna go get an ambulance. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's, it's just, it's just twisted. Are you sure? Yeah. Get a chair or something, please. It's not your fault. I'm gonna go get you some ice, okay? Too bad about your dance party. Lydia, not now. Come on, please. You know, Philippe is a great dance partner. But we don't have the same spark that we have. And you saw what he did to me on that lift. You would never embarrass me that way. And I know what winning means to you. You know that there's a rule that allows to switch dance partner if one gets physically unable to dance? Just saying. I feel so stupid. Lucas and I actually make it into the midnight ball, and I screw it up with my clumsiness. Well, at least there's a bright side. I do tell. You could stay here with me. You have a point. Thank you. insisted you have a real tree sourced from the Vienna woods. It's beautiful. Merry Christmas. Now, we gotta keep ice on this. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, look, I don't know. I think that maybe you should go to the doctor. It'll probably be better in the morning. It's still swollen. You promise that you'll go? I promise. Ooh, what's that? Uh, hi, Amy. Oh. I hope that your ankle is feeling better. And by the way, thank you for the tree. It was so thoughtful. Oh, oh that's really sweet. Are you free tomorrow morning? I like him. Give me my phone. Yeah. I'm glad, glad that you like him. Sir, you missed a call from your lady friend. Thank you, Dominic. It's amazing, isn't it? Morning, Lucas. Um, just wanted to let you know I'm on my way to the hospital right now. Nothing serious. Uh, my ankle is still a little swollen, so I just want to make sure it's healing properly. I'm sorry I can't meet up this morning, but I'll call you soon as I'm done. Bye. I think we should go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I go prepare the car. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Vienna. It's not gonna cost a thing. Well, thank you for making me go to the doctor. Uh, no problem. Hey, by the way, Uncle Marcus said he's gonna stay with us through the holidays to help out. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. the, the doc said it's just a mild sprain. It should heal pretty quick. Yeah, well, he insists. He says it's gonna be great to spend Christmas with family again. That's great. Yeah, wunderbar. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh, whoa, what are you doing? Come on, you gotta stay off him for at least a couple of days. Goodbye, Christmas ball. Hey, Lucas, it's Amy. I'm... I'm at home recuperating. I'm sorry again that this happened. I would really, really love to see you again soon. 
I know that you are preparing for the midnight show, so I totally understand if you're too busy. But, um, yeah, uh, just, I hope you're well. Merry Christmas. Well, sis, what are you doing back there? We gotta hang stockings. Still nothing? No. Not even a text. Perfect. <laughs> Lucas Hofbauer, nice to see you again. Good to see you. I'll be a bit about to close, but I could still make you two hot chocolates. Oh, that would be nice, Sophia. But one only, please. What happened? Oh, I think I trusted Amy a little too much. She was with someone else the whole time. I'm sorry. She seemed to like you. The you, you. Not the rich stuff of you. Yeah, I guess you're right. She was, uh, I mean, is different. But it doesn't matter now. I'm back with my ex. I'll be dancing in the midnight show with her. Where is she now? Hmm. She doesn't like hot chocolate. All I know is hot chocolate doesn't make much fun to drink alone. Especially at Christmas. Daniel, it's fine. How else was I going to be able to get you both gifts? And I have to get Mom and Dad Christmas gifts. Okay. <laughs> but I'm picking you up in an hour. These crowds are no joke. I'll be fine. I'll see you in an hour. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Hey. Uh, Amy? Hey. Uh, how are you? <laughs> what happened to your leg? Uh... I, uh, overdid it in a waltzing competition. Hey. Yeah, uh, it's a long story. Does it hurt? Yeah, it's still throbbing. Here, you know I'm a nurse, right? Here's yeah. a bench over here. Let me take a look at it. Let me grab your stuff. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Okie dokie. That should do it. Wow. That actually feels a lot better. It was just a minor sprain anyway. So... You think I could dance on it? It's totally up to you, but it might hurt. Just take a little ibuprofen and you'll be good to go, though. I appreciate it. But I don't think I'm going to be dancing anytime soon. Thank you, Hal. Happy to help. <laughs> well, I need to be heading. I actually put my name on a raffle and won tickets to a party tonight. Cool. So when do you head back to Chicago? After Christmas? After my doctor clears me to fly? <laughs> Get well soon, Amy. Get well. I'll see you soon. Have fun. Good job, guys. Thank you. We will do one last one before our Christmas Eve ball at Kursalom. Is this all right? <clears throat> Can I say something? Just because I'm gonna be crowned as the queen of the Christmas Eve ball doesn't mean I can't return to my humble beginnings. I wanna say 
that I appreciate every single one of you. I mean, you're all so wonderful. You make us look so good. Lucas, have you heard from Amy? Who? Chicago, the charming American. Quick learner, feisty spirit. With her, I could have sold classes the whole winter. You mean the crass, clumsy one with the two left feet who fell? I mean, I, I hope she's all right. She's fine. She's well taken care of. Mm. Come on, guys. One more time. been such a mess. Ames. Hey. Look, I haven't seen you this happy in years. <laughs> Do I look happy to you right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even get to go to the ball. Yeah, I know. That wasn't really the point, though, was it? Look, all I'm saying is, yeah, I, I see you happy. You know, like you're doing stuff because you want to do it, not because it's on some schedule, not because you feel like you have to. It's a good thing, right? Why are you always so annoyingly right? I think I get it from my sister. <laughs> uh, my ankle's actually feeling a lot better. Oh, this is wonderful news. <laughs> Seems like you've got the late wizard from the Nicholas. Santa Claus came early. <laughs> I would like to give a toast to my new nephew, Daniel, who may not have hunted our Christmas goose in the woods, but thank goodness it was still open season at the butchers. <laughs> You'll get him next year, Daniel. And to Amy's recovery. You'll be back to watching in no time. Post. Post. What's the matter? I can't help but think that the ball is tonight and it's setting in that I won't be going. Hold on a second. You know, I was the head groundskeeper of the place where the ball was held for over 40 years. Really? And for my lifetime of service, every year I'm given these. Brought them along, just in case. What's that? It's tickets to the Christmas ball. They're yours. Merry Christmas. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uncle Marcus, that made me thank you so much. Nothing would give me greater joy than for you to go. I... Thank you. I... I wish I could. I, I don't have a dress. Oh, yes, you do. Your dress, my dear. Is that...? It was Greta's favorite gong. I can think of no one better to wear it. Oh, my goodness. I, I would be honored. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's all go to the ball.
amazing. I feel like a princess. I think Greta would be very happy. Thanks again, Uncle Marcus. I'm so glad you're a part of the family. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You guys ready to do this? You look great in a tux. Oh, thank you. Marcus says it was my father's. You really look like him. <laughs> Hopefully I don't disgrace the family too much with my dancing. <laughs> you could never. Shall we? We shall. A waltz, my dear? Indeed, good sir. All right, let's see how those dance lessons have played off. My name is Vera. I'm Daniel. Nice to meet you. So, this is my sister, Amy. Hi. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna get some air. Looks like you have to dance. Good luck. I can't dance. Hi, Amy. I, um, uh, didn't expect you here. Yeah, well, I... might have fallen down, but I managed to get myself back up again. I can certainly see that. How did you manage to get a ticket? Look, I just want to know what happened. And then you can go back to pretending I never existed. Oh, hi. I want to say... Ashley? You look very classy tonight. Really, phenomenal dress. But we better get going. Let's get some practice before the crown is ours. Don't let your cat see you. It's not easy. You should be proud of your dancing. There are not a lot of people who could learn as much as you did in such short time. Thank you, Amy. You helped me remember why I teach waltzing in the first place. <laughs> Excuse me now, I have to set up this competition. <laughs> taught me to pack at least one nice suit because you never know when you're gonna need it. <laughs> Looks like she was right.
This is just like, like in the old days. Yep, just like the old days. Would you have ever thought that we would dance the Christmas Eve ball together? Lydia, I think I need a break. No, we need to keep practicing. I'm sorry, listen. We need so to keep practicing. I, I need to get some fresh air. You can't just leave me here like this. What's your problem? My problem? Ever since I got hurt, you've completely blown me off. Excuse me? I mean, I get it. You, you just wanted to be crowned king of the ball, but you could have at least said thank you and goodbye. Hey, listen, I came to see you. I just didn't know that you were someone else. Someone else? What are you talking about? There is no one else. All right. I know what I saw. You know, at least with girls like Lydia, I know what I'm getting. She's not just pretending to be nice, to be clawing her way to the top, just like all the other ones. Is that what you think of me? moment we all have been waiting for. Let's win this crown. Please welcome our Midnight Show Dancers. I knew you would come around. Please welcome our final waltzing couple. I'm glad you came to your Mr. senses. Mr. Lucas Hofbauer and Lydia Hofbauer. You would have never won the crown with her. What is he doing? What are you doing? Lydia, you deserve to dance with somebody who wants the crown as badly as you do. But this has been your dream for years. I need to do this for myself. I can't live my life for everybody else anymore. This is it. I plan on meeting you, but now that I have, I can't imagine my life any other way. I don't know. I don't know, Lucas. I'm sorry for what I said outside. I didn't mean it. It was out of hurt. I just needed to let you know how I truly feel. Listen, take good care of her, okay? I 
You're a lucky man. Wait, uh, you you think Daniel's my boyfriend? Uh, no. Daniel's my brother. Daniel is your brother? Yeah. Amy is your sister? Yeah. You guys are brother and sister? Yes. <laughs> no, that's amazing. I mean, <laughs> I'm such a fool. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want to get hurt again. Could you ever forgive me? I am so sorry. You could start by asking me to dance. May I have this dance? Yes. It's dangerous to look your partner in the eyes. Not if she is as beautiful as you are. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.